Welcome students, you are watching a mathematical class on exercise triangle 5b, okay? I mean so on Pythagoras theorem. So here in this question, uh, you have to find the value of x, okay? So first of all, uh, what will you do? What will you have to do? First of all, this figure, according to this figure, there are three right triangles, okay? There are three right triangles. So I will divide into three part okay three part clear so uh, this is 44 and this is what 54 here 50 and here is f and this one is 62 so first of all you have to see that which part of the triangle you have to do in the first so so here when i draw when i uh, divided the figure into three parts so i have seen that uh, i have seen that this part i have to do the first okay how why can why, why can i say because here the two sides are given and third side is unknown okay so in this way we have to find out the third one Okay, I mean first one, we have to find the third side of this triangle, okay. So, this is also a right angle triangle. So, I have written here first case, okay. So, in the first case, from Pythagoras theorem, from Pythagoras theorem, this is your 55, this is your 44, and this is your base. So, base, we have to find it, okay. So, uh, here you see when you it so when you uh, apply you, when you will want to multiply it will cause a lot of time okay so you have to apply formula a square minus b square so what is the formula of a square minus b square a plus what b and a minus b okay so in this way uh, you get 99 into 11. Now, your base is how much? 33. So this means that when I find this one, 33, so here, this is your 33 okay so again again in the second triangle this will also be 33 so you have to find out what hypotenuse okay in the second figure in the second what case again i apply pythagoras theorem okay pythagoras theorem so hypotenuse you don't know uh perpendicular 56 and base will be 33 whole square okay very clear so now So now when you now you have to find out the hypotenuse okay so hypotenuse means uh, you will get uh, this is your answer hypotenuse so this means that uh, this is your 65 okay this is your 65 so this is your 65 now you have to find out the value of x in the third figure okay so let's see in the third figure third case 65 will be the hypotenuse and this one is base and this one is the perpendicular okay again we have to apply 
Pythagoras theorem formula. Hypotenuse is 65 square, perpendicular 63 whole square, and base square hypotenuse. So we have to find it. Okay. Now we have to transform the 63 to the left side. Okay. You will get minus. So you have to apply the formula a square minus b square. So what will you get? a plus b. Now we have to find out the base. So when you uh, divide, uh, divided by two, you get sixty four, thirty two, or uh, sixteen, eight, eight, four, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, two to the four to the eight to the sixteen, thirty two, sixty four, one twenty eight. This one and multiply by two. This okay. Now you have to find out the square root. This operand pair, this operand pair, this operand pair, and this operand pair. You will get two multiply two multiply two multiply two. In this way, you get sixteen. So b means what base. This is the x. Okay. Hence x equal to sixteen centimeter. In this way, you will get the value of x. Okay, so I hope so. Uh, you will clearly understood, and you have to do it at home. Okay, hope you will meet you in the next class. See you. Bye bye.